Hello, good day to everyone. I welcome you to the another episode on mold flows, tips and workflow. In this session, we are going to discuss about the relative ramp speed for the mold flow analysis. To understand the workflow, to map the relative ramp speed in mold flow. My name is Sachin Fulsundar. I am a senior technical specialist at Autodesk. With that, let's begin the workflow. What's a compiling event? particularly often when we get the request from the mold flow users to map the relative ram speed recommended by mold flow to the analysis this is also one of the way that we want to increase the accuracy by replicating the machine parameters into the mold flow simulations and third point is most important is that it been often asked that there is a deviation between the results got from the mold flow and the actual molded component probably this workflow will help us to get closer and reduce that deviation so what's the workflow comprise of first of all before we begin the mapping process or ma capturing the relative ram speed into the injection or analysis we should specify the machine that we are going to use it for the actual molding so in when we go into the process setting into the advanced tab properly like shown on to the right hand side of your screen in fill and pack advanced option we should be able to select the machine now as it would be much better closer the machine or the best you know parameters that you choose from because on that basis the relative ram speed will be derived run the first iterations by specifying the injection time since we don't know the relative ram speed how do we go about so don't make an assumptions go with the specify the injection time here i tried an example where i specified injection time of 1.5 seconds then once you get the results you could run a like an you know, fill pack and warp analysis or normally even if you run a fill and fill analysis irrespective of the mesh type could be a mid plane mesh or a dual domain mesh or in 3d mesh you should able to get the plot called you know ram speed xy or the recommended ram speed xy plot so go into the the top plot options and should be able to export that in the in the text file format that's it what we have shown it over here and once you get it into the text file format um, one step you have to do is you have to open it in a, any text editor like i have opened here into the notepad you can open it in any text editor remove the first two lines which like ram speed recommended xy plot or a short percentage versus the ram speed recommended percentage plot so these two lines has to be removed save that file and once you save it change the extension of that file to dot cvs so why is that needed i'll let you know in the next uh, slide once we have this cvs file created now you can save this analysis copy that analysis and say that hey i want to run now analysis with the relative ram speed now instead of running with that filling control as time probably you have to select the filling control as relative ram speed profile by percentage flow rate versus the percentage shot volume now whatever the cvs file that you have saved now it allows you to open once you open that then it should allow you to import that data like here in this case i have import the profile from the file that we have saved it well it will not allow you to open a directly a text file set so that's the reason how uh, we have saved that into the dot cvs file format and pretty much you are ready to run the analysis with the relative ram speed and try see that your results are now much more closer to the actual molding machine parameters 
and same way you can also export these details to the machine parameters as well. I have seen that some of the times the machine may not have so much of steps, maybe having it three or four steps, probably you have to take the help of the Excel sheet or anyone the expert in the Excel sheet so that you reduce down the number of points but you still maintain that profile. So with that probably I'll talk to you again in the next week or coming episode. Take care of yourself and have great learning. Thank you.